Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Imperial Agent Edition. Now, when we left off, we had just been told by Keeper to take out and eliminate Carol's Jarvis, and we are going to be slicing his security terminal and seeing what happens next. There we are, slicing the computer. Yes, that is exactly what it looks like. Yes. Oh, it's hard work, as we can plainly see. It's hard work. Yes. Zaken, obviously, wiping the sweat from his brow. And now let us move in here and take out some of the bodyguards. Now, ah, we do actually have a cover point here as well, which is actually pretty nice. Even though cover, yeah, it really does not make too much difference. Not at this level, at least. It's really not going to make any difference whatsoever in how much damage we take. It is actually going to reduce the amount of damage we take, as we can see there. As you see all there, the cover was actually a little bit better, but yes. In the grand scheme of things, right now, probably not going to make the greatest difference at all. What's going on here? You thought you'd just go and switch sides? Damn you! I'm sorry, Carol. It's nothing personal. I don't understand. I helped you. I trusted you. We had a bond. And now you murder my men, wave a weapon in my face? But I guess that doesn't matter much. So let's go. You and me, Blade. The young punk against the old gang leader. There's another way for this to end. Flee Hada and you can live. You're offering me mercy? How? Your timing's bad. I could use a fight right now. I just got word that my boys are dead, Blade. Some Imperial piece of filth killed him for refusing to bow and scrape. You're wrong. One is dead, but the other is only crippled. How could you know that? How? I get it. Kill one, take the other hostage. Just make sure Carol's Javis cooperates, right? You slime. What is it you want from me? You're gonna leave Hutta, Carol's. Take the next flight off planet and don't come back. You do that, and we'll leave your son alive. Damn you! If I'd have known what you were, I'd never let you inside the palace. I'll go. Not a word to Nemro. With what you've done in here, they'll probably think I was disintegrated. Wherever you go, I'll be watching you. Now get moving. You've made your point. You won't hear from me again. Goodbye, Blade. Oh, well, maybe he'll come across the real Blade and decide that he wants to punch him in the face or something. Well, who knows, but nevertheless, now we need to head on to Tothlajan and speak to him. He appears to be in Nemro's... Yes, Nemro's little room here, so let's make our way over to him and explain the situation and what has actually transpired here, hopefully shifting the blame onto the Republic. What are you talking about? Carol's is dead? Manchi do ti puna puna, kabuk nuni slemo. Kabanotase makipuna, malituta udmishka. Piti do tenya go kaka jujo, da biska ku paliya. I'll do whatever it takes to bring the killers to justice. Mana ma tota jispa micho. Kliska taka, ya yoska ukle yuga chesko pukuta. Yinga yinga kijita, nimni tanuv, alelo kwekuta. Kunta chuta, kaso yali kuli ra, kanki kum. Oka kiza spida perupa, kadwa shiniko higa danulia. I'll look into it. Might take some time, 
Atoga wata kiko uba kili wata buki donko. Buka kampak nijit tonka yiliska chanaga. Hmm, yes, we must resolve it, and so I suppose we will be heading over to our hollow terminal. I don't know whether any of you saw, but it appeared as though Kalia was in the background when we were speaking to Tothlajan. That seemed quite ominous to me. Maybe there is something going on there, not entirely sure what just yet. But yes, let's not turn around 180 degrees, shall we? Let's just make our way over to the hollow terminal and see what's going on here. So... This is where you've been hiding. Nice. Is the blood on the floor fresh, or did that come with the room? Just what I've always wanted. A pretty girl waiting for me at home. Nice. But that's not why I'm here. Not this time, anyway. You've been all over town racking up quite a body count. And I know what you did to Carol's. You're after something bigger than Emeril. I'm not sure what, and I'm not sure why, but I want in on it. Fine. I'm sure we can work something out. I knew we could get along. So where do we start? Allow me to respond to that. Hmm. What's this now? We know who you are, Kaleo Janus, and we are willing to offer you a deal. I am Keeper. I represent Imperial Intelligence, as does my operative. We are aware of your activities on Ratatak, Ord Mantell, and Brentall IV, as well as your affiliations. Your skills could prove useful, and we are willing to offer you a place in our ranks. You would become a very well-paid servant of the Empire. I've heard worse propositions. What do you think, Agent? You want me on your side? I don't see why not. Sounds like fun to me. I was looking to trade up anyway. And I'm guessing I can ride you a ways before you break. Count me in. But call me a servant of the Empire again, and I'll bust your face. Charming. We'll discuss the details later. As for you, Agent, Tarthalijan is convinced that Bathra the Hutt is a major threat to business. Well done. Now we must bring Tarthalijan proof that Bathra has support from the Republic. The first step is to obtain a hollow disk from Fathra's palace. The disk contains hollow recordings of all Fathra's dealings. The hut is too paranoid for his own good. You'll have to break into his archive to get it. It'll mean lifting security coats off the palace overseers. Like you said, paranoid hut. Noted. Once you reach the archives, use this computer spike on the hollow disk. It will be altered to show Fathra meeting with Republic officers. Then bring the forgery to Tothlijan. I could use a break from the tough jobs. Tothlijan convinced that his enemies are allied with the Galactic Republic, have no doubt. He will turn to us for help. We are in the endgame. Kalia will accompany you on this mission and will act under your command. Last time I went to Father's Palace, I had so many adrenals in my system I was coming down for a week. This should be entertaining. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so apparently Kaleo is our first companion, of course. Okay, so let's just take a look at the varieties of different customizations that are on offer here. And I think that there is a very obvious choice right here. We're going to be taking the third option. There we have it. Level 8 is now ours. And we will be equipping her with the customization. There we have it. Okay, so now let us make our way over to Fathra's Palace, by the looks of things. And I think, yep, we are going to be teleporting to the Chemical Marsh. And seeing what's going to go on there. But obviously we need to acquire two access codes. And I'm sure that Fathra's Palace is going to have a remarkable similarity to Nemro's, most likely. And... We'll see how it goes from there, but yes, I don't think there is actually a planet story mission right now, but I think there might be on the next one. I think this is just a story-based mission hub right now. Okay, so apparently we're going to need to deal some damage to these guys, and I'm actually wondering, what is Kaleo right now? Is she a healer? Yep, she is a healing spec. 
So that is perfectly fine with me, in my opinion at least. That seems pretty good. And I'm actually wondering, should we just go through all of these or should I try to avoid them? Well, I will try to kill all of the units on the road at least. And then after that, well, we'll see what goes down. But right now we're just going to snipe and kill these guys. No problem at all. And we'll be making our way onward here, so I can probably get on my mount now. That seems reasonable to assume. And, yeah. Wow. Okay. It appears as though there's actually not much that we have to kill. I was anticipating that there would be a lot of units in our path. But, thankfully enough, we are not being delayed too much. And we are going to very easily be able to get in here. So, stealth? Mm, not necessary. So, I'm thinking... And leaning towards playing a sniper so we'll see we will see okay so what is this there is a lore object here oh that is a hut lore object thank you very much that's actually given us level nine amusingly enough oh my goodness yes leveling up from a lore object uh, we do have some cameras here i'm pretty sure that is a bonus mission not entirely sure if i want to do it let's just see here disabling it and how much do we have to do another five security cameras how much do we get four thousand five hundred that's actually pretty reasonable I think we might want to do that as we can see the cameras aren't actually that difficult to disable there aren't any enemies here for us to worry about so I think this might be worth it because even though it is very early on I feel as though getting a high enough level to keep ahead of the curve would actually be a rather nice idea because then we will, we will, of course, be more powerful, even though there is a level descaling or a level scaling system now in place, we will have better gear and indeed a better stat line in all terms. So hopefully that will be the case. I'm not entirely sure whether that's how it works, but we'll see. There we have it. Okay, so that was the bonus mission. Very, very easy to complete indeed. And we'll now head on in and get some access codes. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to kill some units here. Yes, I'm pretty sure we have to kill these guys. Maybe? It seems like it, at least. Well, we'll see. We will see. These are very easy to kill right now, as we can see. Wow, look at that. Snipe just utterly destroys them. Wow. Very, very nice. Okay, so where do we actually have to head to here? This palace, ah, there we are, the palace lieutenants. They appear to be the ones that we need to speak to. And, well, should we say not speak to, but speak to with our rifle. Yes. Yes. The laser bullets that are currently streaming towards him are speaking to him in a very calm tone indeed. Yes. Okay, so let's just take these guys out, no problem at all. There we go. Okay, let's throw a grenade over there. Gonna try and take this guy out, and then we'll deal with this lieutenant, and then we'll pick up both access cards, hopefully, and then we'll be able to use them, of course. There we are, very nice. And there it is, yes, both access codes, wonderful. So, oh, there's actually something here. What is that? What was that? Oh, some medium armor, some gloves, okay, why not? We actually have the opportunity to use them. We may as well. Gives us some mastery and endurance. Of course, mastery is the new stat, so you no longer need cunning or strength or anything along those lines. You can just use mastery. And that's actually pretty cool because it opens up a wide variety of different options for us to use instead of being confined to using only cunning. So that's great. And of course, I'm actually quite liking the range that we currently have here with Snipe, and I'm assuming that Snipe is one of the baseline abilities of the Sniper class, so we're probably going to be using that quite often. Obviously, we are going to have to be in cover quite often as well, which is a little bit irritating to me, because I'm not incredibly one to be stuck down to one point, but if we are able to do exceptional damage and indeed be able to take out pretty much anyone we like with this immense damage, then obviously I would say it is worth it in the end, I suppose. Okay, well, we can loot these guys and then head in to the phase. And we can see what the archives are going to say. Obviously, we're going to try and retrieve the hollow disk. You and me, we're getting good. Malambiangin. 
ham gam ne ya pe kabra ka mana la yang perlo am ka kalami na ya kira ne bua hello non what brings you down here father finally order you to check out the shooting nu le lak apa jam kamram am ka nem nang ne mua inuk kali ruma mereka baka lebek ruma i like that about you non you only bet on a sure thing jam gam nu kara nu kara kam nam gam gek arega naya no need for formality, really. Just blade is fine. I got a mimic pem namiak. Kimi gum cup kalak. Nan wanted me for himself when I got to Hara. He couldn't afford me. Laporam amka. Mamni nikak. Nagnaya mamni. Gambram. I'll tell you what. Why don't we make a deal instead? Karakimi. A nikak nikak. Kanyak gak akigwamjam. You've got to be kidding. We can kill Nan. Even make it past his guards if we're lucky. Have it your way, Kilio. Let's start this fight. Anem kana kan mela. Lok nele pamnapi. I knew coming here would be a good time. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's start off with a grenade. Very easy indeed to take out one of his elite guards. And now we can just snipe him and take him out as well. Nice shift to finish him off too. There we have it. Now we can just download the hollow recordings and we'll be out of here in no time. That's it then. Better hope your boss knows how to make a convincing forgery. Of course. There's going to be a bloodbath once Nemro and Tafelgen see what's on the disc. How do you know what's on the hollow disc? All I know is what your keeper told us. But I'm not stupid. If that disc really names all of Fathra's business partners, it probably identifies half the people in Jaguna. Merchants, gangsters, debtors, the usual scum. When Nemro gets a hold of it, he'll want revenge on anyone who dared to go to Fathra behind his back. There'll be bodies clogging the gutters for weeks. Any particular reason I should be bothered? Only if you plan to stick around and watch the excitement. If you're feeling queasy, you could always erase the extra data and scratch up the disk. Make it look like only the doctored recording miraculously survived the damage. So, we deliver Keeper's forgery without the real data. Nemro doesn't get his revenge spree. The risk is that Tophagen figures out you erased the good stuff. I'm not endangering the mission to protect the lowlifes of Hutter. Ah, oh, aren't we dedicated? I knew I'd learned something about you on this mission. Now let's get that thing to Tophagen and see what happens. Hmm, yes, let's. Okay, so let us port back. Unfortunately, there is no quick travel point right outside Nemro's palace. Not entirely sure why not, but nevertheless, I will be cutting away, and once we have em entered Nemro's palace, I will be cutting back. Okay, so we've once again returned to Nemro's palace, and we're now going to be making our way over to speak to Tothlajun, who is in the throne room, by the looks of things. Well, nearby to it, anyway. Hello, Tothlajun. The Red Blade claims to have something to show you. Manchi do ti puna puna, kabuk nuni slemo, mokili mo klunki, nik mi chawa wilmo. You better be paying well, Tothlajun. I went through a lot to get this disc. Poya toka changa goptula do batawana wanki. Kliska taka ya yoska ukle yuga chesko pukuta. Nakwa no ya chuski na wiku chusu yo mata chitoya kapakunga. Looks like I should have gone to work for Fathra. Imache <laughs> Churon Chika Jiliska Chanaga. Jiliska Tanaga Ime Chai Jo Ronchika. A pleasure doing business with you, mighty Nemro.
And there we have it. Okay, so all we need to do now is return to our room and speak to Keeper via Hollow Terminal. And I'm pretty sure we are going to get some kind of assassination mission, maybe? I'm not entirely sure, but... We'll see how it goes in just a second once we speak to him, of course. Kaleo is quite the anarchist, wouldn't you say? Oh yes, I would definitely say that. Well, nevertheless, here it is. The deed is done, Agent. Nemro is already contacting Imperial embassies looking to establish relations. He'll be eating out of our hands within the month. In the short term, our chemical and stimulant stockpiles will nearly double. In the long term, we're a step closer to bringing all of Hutter under Imperial control. I'll make my full report to Darth Jadis shortly. I expect he'll be very pleased with our work. Assuming he's satisfied, does that mean Jadis will leave Imperial Intelligence alone? I wouldn't assume anything at this juncture. Besides which, that isn't your concern. Your mission is now complete. There's a shuttle waiting for you in Jaguna. It will take you to Drummond Cast. Once you've arrived on planet, report to Imperial Intelligence Headquarters in the Citadel. I'll debrief you there. Don't make me jump through bureaucratic rings. If you want another assignment, you will follow orders. Khalil, you will also report to Drummond Cast. I assume Nemro won't be surprised by your sudden disappearance. He'll be hurt. But no one will be surprised that I left with the blade. And he's certainly not the first employer you've walked out on. In any case, I'll expect to see both of you soon. Hold on, who else is Kaleo betrayed? This isn't the time or place for that, Agent. Report to the shuttle as soon as possible. Keep her out. Well, there it is. Okay, so we are gaining a very nice chess piece, and level 10 is also ours. And with that, I am going to be ending this episode off here, and next time on Star Wars The Old Republic Imperial Agent Edition, we are going to be making our way over to the spaceport, and we are also going to be selecting an advanced class. So, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.